All right, so if we want to be able to evaluate these functions, all we're simply going to do is replace our x with our new input variable. So in this first one, I'm just going to say f of 2. I'm just going to replace a 2 in for the x. And now I just go ahead and simplify to find the value. So 2 squared is going to be a 4, plus a 4 is going to be an 8, and then minus a 6, so that's going to give me a value of 2. Now in this case, we're going to replace an x with a negative x. Now again, be very careful here when you're plugging in these values. You want to make sure you use parentheses because this is a negative x squared. So therefore, that's going to give you a positive x squared. Negative 3 times negative 3x is going to be a positive 3x plus 4. Now this last expression, now we have the expression x plus 1 that we're going to use to replace in for our x. And again, it's super important to make sure we're using parentheses. x plus 1 times x plus 1. And over here, we have to go ahead and use our distributive property. And now I can just go ahead and combine my like terms here and get my final answer.